Hey everyone, Magic Sword here. Yeah, another DQA video. I know, same run as yesterday. Surprise, she's still in the deck. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually going to bring our attention to something different about DQA, something I feel like not a lot of people talk about. The fact that she's a very heavy win more card. It's so easy to just focus on the fact that she swings games, but the fact of the matter is that power level doesn't just go away if you're already winning. So this is only really a problem for decks that have potentially some powerful control tools, like, for example, the mage that we played against here. She could have come back from that, theoretically. Mage is capable of just throwing board clear after board clear, and theoretically, I could have run out of resources before she did. DQA made sure that didn't happen. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and enjoy. No oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Kara versus Nemzi. I think we'll keep the live wire lives. <laughs> Victory or death. And the quartermaster. All right. The Let's see here. Okay, DQA in the opening. That's kind of unlucky, but whatever. At least we have her. Okay. Well, maybe I should lay the candle to her. I think there's a case for slightly more aggressive stats. Choice is an illusion. This is exactly the case. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Fine. Mind if I roll me. Not gonna let that go to waste. Yeah, sword and board's good. Yeah, I, I should have played the candle taker. Not just because obviously it worked out it would have worked out better here, but because uh quartermaster on well three like right as soon as you can, isn't terribly useful because you end up, oh, well, there's our turn four. You end up with uh, a lackey and like, obviously you can play it, but do you really want to necessarily play it that turn? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're in a four drop. Look at that. That was incredibly lucky. Possibly the best four drop. Um, for this situation, maybe Nazdor moves better just because of the stats, but having rush on something is great here. I don't like the high variance on Bane of Doom. It's just... Uh, it, it's bad. I don't know. <laughs> it seems... Such, like, such a bad thing to me. It used to... Like, way back when... And it was unplayable because it was too weak, but it used to be... Summon a random... Uh, demon that costs three or less. And that obviously is too weak, but like something like that, like if it was deal two, summon a, a five cost demon if it kills it. But like the problem with that sort of restriction is, um, it's it's going to be like summon this one demon that exists, the one five cost demon that is in the rotation at the moment. And it's like, oh, that's not good either. So what's the what's the medium? I don't think we flood the board. I think we play a little tall and a little resilient to board clear. Okay. 
I just want this game to go to 9 so I can play DQA. I don't even care what dragons I got. I just want a player. I could get two fairy dragons and I'd only be slightly upset. No, I'd, I'd be... Mm, I don't know. I'd probably still win. <laughs> They're untargetable. Ooh. In the map. Yeah, obviously you kill the ones first. And now he's good. And that was a crazy batter head. <laughs> and I think we'll do this. Maybe we should have done this first. But... Sorry. Attend me. Ready, sir. Oh, that was good. Yeah, we get to use it. Good. <laughs> we get to absolutely crush her spirit. Unfortunate that the regular Alex Straws is basically unplayable here. Is it cold in the shadows? Oh no, stats are cost. I think um, DQA should read, give two, add two legendary dragons to your hand. But secretly, it's always Brightwing. That's right. Yeah, that was the Demon Hunter. Our second game was a DQA game. Third game was an AFK. And our last game was a DQA. Yeah. I think we keep the Ganarg and therefore get rid of the Livewire Lance. Uh, just because it's not playable on three, you know. We would rather have something that we can definitely play that turn. I don't mind tempoing out a never never set. So. Oh, now I kind of mind it. <laughs> That's fine. Now the question is, do we... I think we play the Blade Master, actually. Ah, pack to haunt us, are you? That's no fun. Alright then. Do we quartermaster? This will break your bones. Oh crap. How's this? I think she has a minion. Yes. That's fine, that's fine. With the um with the kobold lackey? We should be able to kill any four drop pretty easily. Fireball ready. Yep. So we might want to just um actually we'll slam it. Yeah, we um I don't know. We're not in an amazing position. <laughs> We can kill that. 
with everything we have here. Maybe I should have swung first, but that's fine. Boom Squad. Rampage is kind of lame. We'll go Boom Squad. Yeah. Worst Jaraxxus. You're right. DQA is just a worst Jaraxxus. They're totally comparable. And... <laughs> oh my god, dude. I... I haven't forgiven you for that Jaraxxus run. <laughs> um, no, we'll wait. It's boom Squad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so mean. Oh my god. Okay, now I hope we draw the other DQA so we can get a double DQA. That's... Holy crap. She's just everywhere. I just guarantee to get her. Okay. Um, probably play next turn here. We'll do, we'll do this first, then we'll... No, just kidding, I can't count. We already have some minions. That's fine. This is... It's o it's over, I, I'm gonna say it. Like, I don't, I don't know what she can do to get out of this. We actually need to kill um, one of our weaker guys, that would be beneficial. God, being able to generate DQA is just dirty. Like, she's already almost dead. We actually had lethal. We had lethal, and I decided to play <laughs> DQA instead. I mean, it doesn't matter, but like... <laughs> Alright, no, I want the 6 damage improved morale. Get back here. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and open those up as well. While everyone's here. Golden Whispers. That's pretty good. More gold than we put in and some dust. That's fine. I actually kind of need dust right now. And Whispers of Evil. Golden. There we go. All right, let's open all those packs. Let's see what we get. I actually opened uh, one of them already, so. <laughs> all right, not bad. I mean, if it's if it's not an epic, I already have all the stuff. Oh, well, there you go. Otherwise, it's just nice dust. Okay, good. I actually did want a second one of those. In case I wanted to meme around with a Paladin Murloc deck. Ooh. Anyone get anything interesting from their uh, ranked rewards this season? Okay. Come on. Legendary. Let's go. Oh, another epic, though. That's nice. Warm all challenge. Okay, actually, yeah. No, that's good. That's a very, like, playable card. Back in an, oh crap, that's right, it doesn't go back to one. 